Hey guys, today we're going to install an Easy Start 364 that we got from Micro Air. Yes. All right, so I'm up on the roof, and there's four screws to get this cover off. There's one here, one over here, and you had two up front, and then the cover just lifts off. I'm gonna go ahead and install the Easy Start here in this location. In the installation kit that came with it, they give you some uh, double-sided like foam tape, so I'm gonna use that to keep this here, because I can't really run any screws through here. It's all styrofoam, I don't even know what's behind there. Right, so I'm gonna run the wiring off the easy start through this hole right here. Now there was some putty block in that hole, so I just pulled all that putty out. And then I'm gonna run the wires through the hole, follow this wiring harness over to here, all the way over to the electrical box, and use the zip ties that they included in the installation kit and reinstall this putty. So we got the putty reinstalled, and I ran the, the braided wiring harness up over the top here, over to the electrical box. So now I'm gonna have to remove this plastic strain relief and insert the one that came with the installation kit and then pass these wires through there. So I got these wires pulled through, and I'm gonna install the new strain relief. Just opens up and goes around this whole bundle of wires. All right, so now I just gotta connect these four wires. So I'm gonna use this wiring diagram to identify the compressor wires. Here you can see where it says compressor. The compressor has three windings. The blue wire is the common, the white wire is the run winding, and then the red wire is for the start winding. So if we look inside here, we should find the blue, the red, and the white. Right here's a blue, here's a red, and here's a white. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the PTC and the start capacitor from this electrical box. Oh, and by the way, power is removed, disconnected. It's not, it's not hot right now. So tracing the red wire from the PTC here, which is just held in with a little clip. I'm just gonna trace this wire up here to the top of this capacitor. And just remove it. Now the, the other red lead here runs down to the start capacitor down here in the bottom. Looks like it's held in with one hex head screw. There you go. One motor start capacitor and the PTC is removed. So I'm going to connect the orange wire from the easy start to the same terminal on the run capacitor as the red wire from the compressor. Now on top of the capacitor it says H-E-R-M which is where this is going to plug into. Greg, what's that stand for? Hermetically sealed. Hermetically capacitor. sealed? Okay. Hermetically sealed capacitor. So I'm going to use a little crimp connector in the installation kit. I'm going to remove the white wire that connects to the compressor run winding from the run capacitor and splice it to the brown wire, this one, that runs to the easy start. So now I'm gonna run the white wire from the easy start to the run capacitor common terminal where the other white wires are connected. And looking at the top here, there's a little letter C stamped in the top of the capacitor that would be common and also where all the other white wires are connected. Okay, so the last wire we have to connect is the black wire from the easy start. What we have to do is to disconnect the blue wire from the relay on the control board and install this short piece of wire with this flag connector in its place. And then the blue wire 
is going to get spliced to this short piece of wire along with this black wire and that's the last connection that we have to make. Alright, so that should be it. We got the brown wire, the white wire, the orange wire, and the black wire all from the Easy Start connected. So, we can go ahead and put the cover back on, get the cover on the AC back on, and then we'll give it a shot. And really, that was an easy install. It was. Very quick, efficient. Yes, the easy start is easy to install. It was four wires. I used the instructions provided off of MicroAir's website. All right, so we did our five learning starts on the Easy Start 364 when we were at home connected to shore power. Now you can do those starts when you're connected to a generator, but you wanna make sure that generator is not in eco mode when you do it. So we're here uh, doing a roadside stop. This is typically how we travel. We usually go to campgrounds They have a 30 or 50 amp hookup, but when we stop like this, you know, we've got two dogs We want to go get something to eat or go shopping, and, you know, going to Walmart or something So we'll put the dogs in the trailer and now because we have the Easy Start 364 We can run a small generator to power the air conditioner, the 15,000 BTU air conditioner in the trailer so the dogs have air conditioning while we're inside. So the generator that I'm gonna be using today is this. This is a Westinghouse iGen 2500. This thing is fantastic. It weighs less than 50 pounds. I think it comes in around 48 pounds. It's got a full tank of fuel, it's full of oil, and I can just lift it out, set it on the ground. It's light enough that even Lynn can move it around without any issues. This generator is also sold by MicroAir for $595, and I cannot get over how lightweight, portable, and efficient this thing is. It should run our air conditioner for eight hours on one gallon of gas. inside the trailer and because of the Easy Start 364, it makes it possible for this small generator to start that air conditioner and run it. All right, here goes nothing. We are going to start the 15,000 BTU air conditioner. The fan is on, we're gonna give it a minute for the compressor to kick in. Compressor just kicked in. Looks like the Easy Start 364 did its job, and that little Westinghouse iGen 2500 is handling it no problem. It's not even breaking a sweat. Is it cold? <laughs> it's cold. Wow. It, it, it is working. We're running a 15,000 BTU air conditioner off of a 2500 watt portable generator. And I can't even hear it in here. No, I can't even hear the generator. That's amazing. I mean, that's really convenient. That'll really help us in our boondocking adventures. Yeah, even just stopping off like this, you know, let the dogs have air conditioning while we're in here. It, it sure beats how heavy and loud those open frame generators are. Yeah. Inverter generators are the way to go. Especially that small portable one. Yeah, especially that Westinghouse. I mean, at one arm, I'm just picking it up and putting it in the bed of the truck. And it's full of fuel. Yeah, and not it's full even, of fuel. Not even, it's not even gonna, affect your payload. No. It, that thing is like the perfect generator for us to take with us when we go places. The it's, dogs will definitely love it. Yeah, it's simple to use and it's quiet. Yeah, I, I can't get over how I can't hear it. So we're sitting here in the Airstream with the generator running the air conditioner to keep it nice and cool for us. So I want to talk about a couple things about the 364 and the generator. 
And each air conditioning unit does require its own Easy Start 364. It's a starter, it's not a power source. Your small generator may start and run your air conditioner if it's 80 degrees out, but what about if it's 100 degrees out? Because the hotter it is, the more power it's gonna take to start that air conditioner, and that's where the Easy Start 364 comes in. Right. It'll slowly ramp up that power to allow your air conditioner to start and, and run on a small generator. You also have to take into consideration altitude. The higher you go in altitude, the more power you're gonna lose out of your generator. It's a rule of thumb, 3% for every thousand feet of altitude that you gain. So if you combine heat and altitude, the 364 is gonna pay for itself. Right, definitely. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up an Easy Start 364, you can go to microair.net and I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description. And you can also pick up the very same generator from Microair. Yeah. And if you buy both at the same time, it's free shipping, right? Yeah, it's free shipping if you do it that way. It's free shipping. Which is, when you're shipping a generator, it's probably a smart thing to do, because you wait. <laughs> if you want to get $25 off the cost of your Easy Start 364, use discount code WW81. W -W well, we're going to hit the road again, so thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I am absolutely 100% sold on this product. Definitely. I want, I want to get another one to put on our 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Definitely.